Hello. My name is... Let's come back to that. So, this video, I wanted to come and talk about the resale market. If you like sneakers, shoes, or even fashion, you probably come across the insane prices of a shoe. Or if you just, you know, casually parse the internet, you'll be, you know what I'm saying? You see shoes, they resell for insane prices these days. And me personally, as a sneaker enthusiast, like, I love shoes. It's really disheartening because it really makes shoes feel less accessible. And that's one thing I don't like. I understand like our society, we have a culture of like inaccessibility around certain things, which I also don't like. But just sneakers being something that genuinely brings people together, that people genuinely like, I just, I don't like the idea of making it inaccessible. What I mean by that is, I don't like the idea of somebody purely going to get a shoe solely just so they can resell it to somebody they know, like probably, you know, didn't have a really high chance of getting it or just anything like that, like marking up the price to make money off someone else. Which, yeah, I, I, I don't like that idea. Um, that's why I also I'm not the biggest fan of pure capitalism either i'm really not and y'all excuse me i'm trying to get used to talking to a camera it's like you know being a person used to looking at eyes and this is just like a lens but yeah so let's talk about how i got the majority of the shoes that i have now y'all probably know by now uh one of the biggest ways for just a normal one of run of the mill person to get like a pair of shoes through like a drop is the sneakers app I'll show a picture. You probably heard of sneakers. I have entered, I want to say, 10 to 15 like drafts for sneakers. And I have won maybe one. And that was because Nike gifted me like some early access code or something like that. But it was really disheartening seeing a shoe that I liked and really just not being able to get a hold of it for the resale price it was going for, like off the drops and raffles and things like that. So. I was really, I was doing that too because I had aspirations of being a reseller. I don't in the same way, not anymore. But anyways, yeah, so I could never really score off of sneakers. So I really, I think I got my first pair of real Jordans um, off of GOAT. And it was a pre-owned uh, pair of like Wolf Grade 3s. And I picked those because it wasn't like a super coveted drop so the prices weren't through the roof i was only about 18 so i wasn't about to go and spend 400 500 dollars on a shoe that i really liked but no i wasn't gonna spend that money on it so yeah that was my first pair and i want to say maybe last year i actually got a job at you know what actually mark that out i got a job at a shoe store i'm not gonna be specific but I got a job at that store and through there, I was actually able to get real world chances of getting a shoe. Granted, I did have have to have the money most of the time initially when they came out. But there was a certain, just the accessibility rate on the shoes just went up astronomically being there in the environment like tenfold. It went up immediately like I could see the shoe I could look at the shoe I could really pick if I wanted to buy it and then just being around that shoe having an opportunity it's like I could walk in the store and actually buy the shoe most of the time well I ain't gonna say most of the time all of the time for the retail price so I want to say the first pair I got when I was working at the shoe store was a pair of uh Concord fives I have not worn that shoe in the outfit yet but for me, it was just, I love shoes. And so being able to buy a pair that I really love that pair of shoes. And I really, even though I don't wear it, I don't see myself really selling it because I just, it was my first pair. So after that, I think I went, I, I got a pair of Citrus 8s. And all of these shoes are for retail. I know nobody really liked the Citrus 8s, but I did. So I got a pair of those. Oh my God, I'm outside, y'all. <laughs> And I got the lights on, so bugs flying around. But I got a pair of Citrus 8s. Then I got the Georgetown 6s. Love those. Um, 
I was actually able to get a pair of dunks too while I was working at UPS. A guy sold them to me. Um, he was a reseller, but well, actually, he wasn't a reseller. He was a collector, but he sold them to me for resale because his wife didn't want them. So I got that pair of, I think it's like laser orange or ye laser yellow dunks for resale, or maybe ten dollars worth resale. And then I got a, a pair of Jordan One mids. I got those, and I got another pair of mids. Um, I got it off gold again too, but it wasn't, people don't really like mids and it wasn't like a coveted mid, so I was able to get it for a pretty good price. But yeah, um, I'm not gonna go through every single pair of shoes I have. I'm gonna show clips as I'm talking to keep the video interesting, but I'm not gonna focus on that. What I really wanted to say is that, yeah, I don't really like resale culture. I went, uh, me and my mom, we went to buy tickets to the Janet Jackson concert. She's coming to my city uh, this spring and we were trying to buy tickets and majority of the tickets being sold were like resold tickets. And I was like, it really is a crazy thought process for somebody to come and buy something that they either have no intention of using or um, no intention of attending the event and then selling it to somebody else for a higher price. Like, because I feel like somebody that actually wanted it could have came and bought that like at a way more accessible price. And I understand that there's nuance with reselling because I completely agree with that. I think nuance is really important, but just solely in that capacity, like, oh, I'm going to buy this so I can sell it. So like, and I feel like specifically with drops, I think differently when it comes to thrifting and things like that, because I feel like convenience kind of comes into those things. But when it comes to raffles, drops or concert tickets, I do not agree with buying those purely to resell them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool, but that aspect, like, when it comes to that, I feel like reselling is, like, capitalism's, like, little son. And it is, because, you know, it's hand-in-hand. In hand. Ooh, I hope that truck ain't over-talking me. Let me wait. But, yeah, I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. I don't really like resale culture. Um, to be honest, I'd say if anybody was looking for tips to go and like really get shoes or get drops i would say try and make like real world connections find people that work in shoe stores talk to them go into the short into the stores on drop day and this to some people this might be kind of redundant but i'm young i didn't get the chance to really go into stores when drops happened my parents were not like they were not sneaker people so they weren't gonna take me on their to no drop the only pair of jordans i had as a kid it was like a pair of uh mid hair ones and that was the only pair of Jordans I had anyways besides that point but yeah I really encourage going into real world places if you have the opportunity make connections like see the shoe physically and then buy it like either in store because that's a retail price or through trusted individuals or whatever like that'll give you a good price uh, that's how I got really all of my shoes but majority of my shoes like uh minus two pairs but yeah so yeah i'm gonna practice what i preach i'll take y'all with me a uh, vlog when i go shopping for shoes trying on shoes when i go shopping because i really i want to get back to that real world aspect of life like really going out buying stuff going out and trying stuff on and i'm not knocking the convenience of online shopping but i miss the tangibleness the connections and really just that raw aspect of life i'm trying to get back to that uh i feel like i spend enough time scrolling and watching other people do certain things so i want to go out and just like live that so look out for fashion vlogs i love clothes um i want to be a stylist one day shoe vlogs i'll talk about like new drops um the goal i want to have a partnership with new balance hopefully by the end of the year that's my goal uh that's <laughs> that's a big goal but um yeah and mukbangs i love i love fucking food so look out for that for my channel um i'll keep adding some more um clips of my shoes scrolling all that but yeah i hope y'all like this video i try to get some more b-roll in this but it took me fucking forever to film this and so i'm just glad that i am but yeah i'm I'm getting excited. I don't know why, but thank y'all for watching. Click on one of my other videos. I'll have like subscribe and everything there. But yeah, go look at my channel. See if there's anything else you like. Uh, I already told you the categories I'm in. But yeah. also, before I go, 
I want to leave y'all with a question. Do y'all think the sneaker game is dying? Comment down below. And if y'all want me to make a video on that, I will. But yeah, peace. Thank y'all for watching. <laughs> oh my gosh.